Google continues to plot for the future with a variety of products from the Android phone to education software. Rory Maher is an analyst at Hudson Square Research. He recently initiated coverage with a buy rating on both Google and Yahoo. He joins me right here in the newsroom now. Rory, thanks for stopping by this thanks Thursday morning. So Google at 750, you say this is the right price target and the right price for Google. Now what about the people who are detractors who say Google is only a one trick pony even though it's a really good trick but you say it doesn't matter right well I think they have a very strong core business that's going to continue to generate double digit growth over the next few years and they have a number of emerging businesses in mobile and display that are quickly becoming more material as an overall part of the company and we think that's going to help generate growth overall we know they have a ton of cash on their balance sheet and I mean word has that they just tried to get group on for six billion dollars what do you make about Google's strategy what seems to be trying to to buy be more acquisitive than actually developing things in-house? Well, I mean, I think as long as you buy the right companies and the right talent, it's a good strategy. They have a lot of cash, and there are a lot of promising, private, um, fast-growing internet companies out there that are probably pretty attractive. Did it hurt Google at all to have the CEO of Groupon, Andrew Mason, say, basically, he didn't want Groupon to go to Google because he thought it would be demotivating to his employees? Or do you think that's just sort of uh, trash talking? Um, I'm not sure that what the reason why they didn't go ahead with the acquisition. Whether it was uh, demotivating the employees, it's, it's unclear. But I think there are a lot of other options for Google besides Groupon. Okay, and I mean they are, you know, even though I, we sort of are talking about their acquisitive trend, they also are developing a lot of varied products in-house. I mean, from a car, you know, which is a little bit more marginal to the mainstream Android products. Sure. Um, you know, we're excited about Android. It's uh, rapidly growing. Um, the open strategy seems to be paying off, and we think it's going to gain a majority share of the mobile OS market. And you think versus this kind of inroad that Apple and all its products have been able to make, you think Google will be able to come up and gain some share? Well, I think there's room for multiple winners in the market, and I think Google will be one of them. Okay. You also like Yahoo, which has come under a lot of fire for its management disorganization, for lack of a better term, but you still like the stock. Why is that? Sure. I mean, I think there's some operational risk there, but um, we're pretty bullish on internet media overall. We think a lot of dollars are going to flow from traditional media to online. That's certainly going to benefit Yahoo, um, albeit with the operational risks you're talking about. Uh, as well, we're very excited about the Asian um, assets they have. They own a bunch of e-commerce companies in China that are doing really well, rapidly growing, and, and are soon to be profitable. Do you think Yahoo, though, stays in its current form? Do you think they form joint ventures? I mean, Yahoo, in many respects, becomes a favorite parlor game when you're talking about tech companies and who they could be paired with or certain divisions could be paired with. It's unclear, you know, what partnerships are out there, but we're pretty excited about the company as a standalone company. One thing you've mentioned in your research as well is that the fact that you think that the average investor actually underestimates just how much of a growing role both of these companies are going to be playing in their sectors going forward. To, to what extent? I mean, can you quantify that at all? Well, I think we made a lot of calls um, and interviews with advertisers uh, across the country, and we're um, pretty confident that next year and the year after, 2011, 2012, you're going to see a continued accelerated shift of ad dollars from traditional to online. And I think that's going to benefit all Internet companies, including Yahoo and Google. So do you think, for example, the market only anticipates sort of X percentage penetration and your research shows something else? We're looking for um, online to capture about 17% of total U.S. advertising next year, which I think is a little bit above consensus. All right. And Rory, I have to ask you this. I mean, you're looking at the, your own challenges to your opinions, too. What's the biggest risk out there for Google? What's the biggest risk out there for Yahoo at these price points? I think the biggest risk for both is Facebook. Um, it's a huge success with users and consumers and if they can start stealing um, ad dollars from those two companies uh, that'll probably be a big risk. And if I had to ask you the likelihood of that let's just say on a scale of one to ten how would you handicap it? Well I it? think they're all again going to benefit from the dollars moving from traditional to online it's a question of uh, who steals share within. Okay Rory thanks so much for stopping by. Rory Meyer joining us there from Hudson Square Research. He has a buy rating both on Google and on Yahoo.